I have not checked my WinLink email in quite some time. So today we're gonna do that and we're gonna do it with the Yaesu FTX1F. Let me show you. All right, so I have no idea why this works because I was messing with this at home and well, let's just get into this. Okay, so I am on a Mac and I am using VMware Fusion to use Windows, which sucks, but it's the only way. I tried the, there, another guy made a way to do it on uh, some other thing and it's, it, it doesn't work. He, he like leaves out instructions. So uh, what is it? Uh, Nine to five Mac has a good video on how to, how to do all this. I'll try and leave a link in the description. It's a little bit different now, but if you follow the instructions, I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. This is as big a screen as I get, but that's okay, because I literally only use this for WinLink. So I have to plug the radio in after this is opened, and then we get these connect to Windows things. Those are the drivers. We gotta get the Silicon Labs drivers. Um, and let's open WinLink Express. So for some reason, this didn't work. Um, everything worked, but I didn't have cat control. And then um, I was like, you know, I want to try some Vara FM. And I opened up a Vara FM session and 100% can't get that to work. I don't know what the deal is, but I've, I've not messed around with um, WinLink Express and any packet stuff over FM. So I didn't get that to work. So I closed this. Um, and I'm like, why can I not get rig control? Can I use FL rig? So I downloaded FL rig on this Windows thing. That doesn't work. And then, oh Jesus, Windows. I hate Windows so much. Um, when I opened back a Vara HF WinLink session, all of a sudden I, I had rig control. Like everything worked. So let me show you those settings really quick. So if we go to settings here and then to radio setup, I'm using the Yaesu FT991A. I just use USB. The radio is just set to USB. There's literally no settings to do in the radio. It's just upper sideband. Uh, so I'm on 40 meter upper sideband. And use radio internal sound card. I'm on COM9, or I was. Hopefully we still are. I got my baud rate at 38400 for no apparent reason. Um, enable DTR and enable RTS are unchecked. Your PTT port is 991A, and then you can just hit update, and it should work. And it does, it just clicked. So another thing we can check is, it's gonna open the VARA menu down here. So we don't have audio going in here yet, so we need to go to settings and sound card, and every single time, once I do that, we can see the waterfall's already there. Um, but this just shows up, the FTX just shows up as USB audio device, so make sure those are set. And uh, we can hit tune, and it's PTTN right now. It is putting out a carrier, it is putting out power. Uh, the one thing that's interesting, and I wish I had another camera to show you, but you'll just have to take my word for it. So I set this to ALC. This says you want to have it like a third ALC, so I've got it to minus 16 dB. We hit tune. There's zero stuff going on on the ALC, but if I put this to minus 15, now it's the meter's just hovering above five. Here, I'll show you. So that's with the ALC, the drive level on uh, the sound card here in VARA at minus 15. If I put it to minus 16, it just goes all the way down. So I'm just gonna try it like that. I don't wanna be um, doing anything with uh, crazy with the ALC there. So that's, that's it. And like I said, it just would not, I, I would have to manually tune the VFO, which I was fully uh, fine and accepted that I would have to do that. So long as I can get Windlink to work, I can tune the VFO, that's not a big deal. But once I went to VARA FM and then back to VARA HF, it worked. So it has been a very, very long time, like I said in the intro, since I have checked um, <laughs> any of my WinLink emails. So if you do need to do this manually with the VFO, if you don't get cat control, but it'll PTT and everything else, just make sure, so notice we have center frequency and dial frequency. So when you go to your channel selections here, 
and you pick one of these guys. So let's just say, I'm, I'm actually gonna use this N5 uh, MDT because he's right here local. I'm not, I'm not concerned about getting any distance station right now, but that just changed my VFO. If you don't have rig control, the dial frequency is what you wanna set your radio to. So right now my radio is set to 7.103.2. So that's what we're looking for to make this happen. I'm using, uh, I think I've got it, 4 watts, 5 watts, something like that. RF power, 4 watts. Let's let's give it the beans and we'll, if this touchscreen would work, um, we'll go up to, we'll go up to 5 watts. This guy's, this guy, what is 38 kilometers? Like 20 miles, something like that. So he's pretty close. So we see channel free. Let's go ahead and hit start and see if we can connect to this guy. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I'm, I might need to find a different uh, gateway. Yeah, so I'll just hit stop here. Give me a second and I'll, I'm gonna find a, a, a gateway, a, an RMS I can connect to, and we'll be back. There we are. When you hear those bleeps and bloops, that's a good thing. I don't have any no any notch filters, no nothing. I've got IPO on preamp one and AGC is auto. And I do have the paid version of Vara. So it's working and we can see this little constellation thing here doing something. I have no idea what any of the shapes mean, but Josh has tried to explain it to me, but I'm, you know me, I'm not smart enough to understand it. So we've got a few things in here, that's cool. Uh, and feel, please feel free to email me, k at mrd at winlink.org. Um, I'd love to get your HF VARA WinLink email stuff, or if you do it over FM packet, whatever, it all, it all goes to the same place. It's just, like, I, I thought WinLink was so stupid when I first got into ham, and, and just in the last year or so, um, I've, I've really seen the usefulness of it to be able to sit here with I mean, five watts, and I'm using the X10 40 meter NFET half wave, and we're we're making contacts. This guy, I think this RMS, it said it was like 78 kilometers away or something, um, 79 kilometers. So whatever that is in freedom units. Um, so there we are. That was really fast, because yeah, we were using 2750 bandwidth, so really really fast. So we just got our emails. We had I had one unread, I think, in there. Let's go to this guy. And we've got an email from KI7LIK, KK7PW, and KK7PW. So he's got a battery box question. So let me uh, go through these and respond, and we'll put them in the outbox, and we will send them back. Okay, so now I have three message is posted to my outbox so we can just open a session here and make sure it's not in use it says channel free so we can go ahead and hit start again and it's basically going to say hey can you hear me let's connect assuming we do it'll say do you have any unread messages for me it'll probably say no because we just downloaded them and then it'll ask do you have any emails to send to me and i'll say yes and that's how it works with five watts, look at that. It's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. You get bleeps and bloops, you get funny radio noises, and you're sending email completely off the grid. Look, here's my here's my Wi-Fi thing. It's not gonna I'm not connected to any internet at all. This is all 100 percent off grid, other than the gateways that we're connecting to. But that's the whole idea. If you're in a, a like a grid down area, you know, even if our whole country is grid down, we can still connect to find an RMS that you can connect to in another country across the, you know, halfway across the world. And you can you can still you can still send a message. So here you can see it's sending all these messages. Sent three messages. It's finishing up. Gives us call sign and CW, keep it legal, keep, keep the FCC happy, and that's it. How freaking cool, man. 
on the FTX, it just works. It's awesome. So I'm I'm really, really liking this this FTX, man. I, I really do. And now I have sideband, we've got FT8, we've got Winlink working with it, and it's on a Mac. <laughs> so that's all I got for today. Just wanted to come out here and share this with you guys. And again, shoot me an email, k8mrd at winlink. Uh, dot org and uh, maybe we can have some winlink email sessions over the hf radio waves my name is mike k at mrd thanks for watching ham radio tube we'll see you next time 73